Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? It's Hookah Anonymous, and you are now rocking with Mickey Truth. She live up to her name, not the fame. So make sure y'all subscribe to her channel and stay updated on what's real. Bye. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm, trying to conquer the world. Good reporting as Mickey. We love you, Mickey. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, a.k.a. the Queen of Paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. All information used in this video is part of Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So let's get it. Before I get into it, just a disclaimer for my new people that's coming over because we're crossing over into a new sector. Some words I may not pronounce correctly, and I really don't care for you to correct me, but thank you for tuning in. Now, back to the content. For those of us that's not from Chicago, however, we have frequent YouTube on the Chicago side. You may have heard this name before, Zell Munna. Okay, and this name may be familiar for a multiple reason, but I'm gonna tell you how I am familiar with it. You know what? Instead of me telling you, yo, hookah, what it do? I came with pretty Naya pretty hard. I ain't gonna lie. Um, they was always together, always on FaceTime, you know, pictures, videos, all that. Always together, right? So, you know, they had a pretty much of a close bond, you know, close relationship. That was his shorty. Like, you know, it was known that was his girl. Now, it gets tricky because Pretty Naya ended up pregnant. Now, of course, you know, thinking a, a normal person, your boy Zell, of course, thought it was his baby, right? Now, he thought it was his baby, whatever the case may be. And now it came out that it actually wasn't Zell Munna's baby, which mean that she was pretty much cheating on Zell. All right, at some point in time of that relationship. Now, a lot of people are saying this is the reason he actually committed suicide because when he figured out that, you know, it wasn't his baby, he couldn't take it. Well, before it. I get into it, for those who don't know, my mother committed suicide on the 27th of this month will be eight years, okay? So I definitely understand the hurt and the pain that the family may feel dealing with this, and I'm going to be as gentle as possible to the situation. I also want to put out there, it's really not a way to know for sure exactly why a person does what they do as far as committing suicide. But what I can tell you is just based on public research of the recent post from people around the situation, this is what I was able to find. Baby, on the way, I'm gonna take a blood test. My mom, like, yeah, you a man, you shouldn't run from no shit like that. That's real. So I went and took the blood test, and I, and I found out that my mama told me, like, before you take the blood test, when you hold the baby, you are, you gonna feel some connection. Right. I'm like, nah, mom, I think this is my baby. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I never felt like, you, know, you feel me? Like, I never, I actually, when bro had a kid, I never thought about having a job. Right. Because <laughs> yeah, he was on uncle duties like crazy. <laughs> so, what we heard just now was DCG Sean speaking in an interview in regards to the birth of his son. And his son is allegedly with Pretty Naya, who is allegedly the ex girlfriend of. Zell. Now, with that, can I say without a doubt it's a cross lap to say she cheated? No, I can't tell you that. What I can show you is some posts that were made by Zell and also Pretty Naya. Let's check them out. So, according to the obituary for Zell, his passing date was August 24, 2021. Okay. And if you look on Pretty Naya's Facebook page during this time frame, and I only went back like a week, this is what it said. Based off two posts that I saw on Pretty Naya's Facebook page, August 16th and August 17th of 2021, it's a joking post like, you know, Zell don't have no exes, y'all, his old hoes. And, you know, I tell Zell I need my foot massage. You know, jokingly little statuses, nothing to say. Oh, I don't like him. Oh, we're not together. Oh, y'all hoes can have him. I didn't get none of that from the post, okay? Now, if we go over to Zell's facebook page and check out his statuses days before he actually passed away up until actually the day that he actually committed suicide it was a change of vibe this is definitely in my opinion from how i'm interpreting the status okay one on august 21st said you got shit past me once you never do it twice my trust don't work like that also, one states, bitches ain't shit with the crying emoji and the shaking my head emoji. On August 22nd, another post, 
a motherfucker can only take so much. I mean, outside looking into this, it does seem like it is over a female in some shape, form, or fashion. On August 23rd, it says, I got to know how to just let shit go and let it be what it be. Hmm. Then the last post is August 24th, my head everywhere. And I'm not even going to lie. Outside looking in, I would have pieced together that it was over the fact that indeed his girlfriend or his chick that he was messing with did something that wasn't good okay and if that girl was pregnant i would definitely think that it was a situation with the baby but again this is only assumption we don't know exactly what he was thinking at the time not only was this going on during the time of his um death however another thing was brewing and it was an investigation into fbg ducks murder okay now i know you're probably like uh his name is not listed on the rico case well it's not listed on the rico case but it's definitely in the paperwork let's get into it let me just say this i summarize the timeline as best as possible based on 500 plus pages so August 4th, 2020 is the murder of Duck, okay? August 5th, 2020, Corroborator 4 provides first interview providing that 50K bounty was on FEG Duck and identifies all players involved. And yes, they were still conducting other searches of like cars in the area, you know, descriptions of vehicles leaving the scene. So they were running the tags. And according to the paperwork, they were able to get two names, okay? One is Robertson or Roberson. One is also Alfred, which we'll talk about later on. But those are two names that came back off the vehicle search, okay? Now they did issue a search warrant for not only the vehicles, but also for a Roberson phone i wonder why they did that check out my last video if you're wondering oh just for clarification on august 5th it was a informal interview at a residence that corroborated for did now on august 18 2020 a official interview that was done in the interrogation room per the notes in the paperwork was conducted and this is where they got into more details about what that person knew okay and that's where the information in regards to um him because they do refer to him as a him so corroborated for was very important in my opinion to the investigation because not only did they have evidence proven that that person was in contact with none other than Roberson, who is one of the defendants on the case, but also they were able to get an interview with that person, which then would have been like, hey, I actually talked to him face to face and he told me X, Y, Z. And not only am I providing you public information, I'm providing you information only known to you and the people that's involved. So when I say that's a lot, that's a lot. And that's the reason why they're probably listening as a corroborator instead of an actual witness to the situation. Now, fast forward to um, September 2021 is when witness six that's listed on a federal documentation is contacted by police. She, and they refer to her as a she, reaches out to Alfred, which is another defendant on this case in regards to being contacted by the police. Um, and is informed she don't know nothing, meaning cold word, allegedly per the paperwork, that she wasn't supposed to speak on the August 4th, 2020 information that she had. However, that was provided to the police and backed up by surveillance cameras at a dealership where, yes, Zell name is mentioned as being in the car and being picked up with Smart and Alfred and then dropped off in O Block by Witness 6. Now, then September 2021, guess what else happens? The indictments is actually approved and issued, all right? Arrest don't take place until October 13th, 2021. So in my opinion, based on how all of this took place for uh, over a year without anybody getting spooked because if y'all recall well y'all can just look on you know social media everybody um in the situation allegedly right was doing their own thing on social media going live all this all that so in my opinion i definitely don't feel like the suicide was in d in regards to the arrest the you know the upcoming arrest but it's not far-fetched to think that on top of going through everything with the girlfriend, on top of the baby situation, on top of King Von being murdered, on top of his own brothers being murdered, probably was just overwhelming. But again, we can never really say exactly what a person is thinking at that time in their life when the decision is to made to commit suicide. So with that, that's the information that I was able to fact check. I'm going to get ready to close out. I hope you like, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend to pull up. Because you know your girl always got that work. Make sure you go to MickeyTruth.com and get you some merch. Until next time, holla!
through the storm trying to conquer the world. I made it through the storm. 